హలో ఎవ్రీవాన్ నమస్తే వెల్కమ్ టు వివిత్ కెమీ దిస్ ఇస్ విద్యాశ్రీ హోప్ యు ఆర్ ప్రిపేరింగ్ వెల్ ఫార్ యువర్ కార్టెడ్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ దిస్ వీడియో బ్రింగ్స్ యూ ది ఇంపార్టెంట్ కీ పాయింట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ది చాప్టర్ హ్యూమన్ ఐ అండ్ కలర్ఫుల్ వర్డ్ ఆఫ్ టెన్త్ స్టాండర్డ్ సైన్స్ అండ్ దిస్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది వీడియో విల్ హెల్ప్ యూ ఫార్ ది ప్రిపరేషన్ ఆఫ్ పేపర్ టూ ఫార్ కార్టెడ్ ట్వంటీ సైన్స్ so this is the part 1 video where i will be discussing about the various parts of human eye and some other important concepts along with the eye sight problems without wasting time let's directly jump into the video eye is a very important organ that helps us to see so this is a sensory organ which enables us to see the things or object or the people around us eye is located in eye sockets present in our skull and the diameter of human eyeball is 2.3 cm you can make a note of this point that diameter of human eyeball is 2.3 cm moving on we need to note the important parts of human eye and its function this might be asked so make a note of the points the outermost part that we have which is a transparent part which provides most of the refraction of the light that is falling into our eye is cornea so here in this image you can see this transparent part which i am shading in red color now okay so here this transparent part which is the outermost part that is the cornea what is the function of this part that it provides most of the refraction of the light that is falling into our eyes the second important part is iris you can note from this first diagram here iris is the dark muscular diaphragm this part is iris dark muscular diaphragm that controls the size of the pupil so function of iris is to control the size of the pupil what is pupil it is the window of the eye where the light is entering into the eye through pupil and it is the central aperture in the iris it is present at the center of the iris and the role of pupil is to regulate and control the amount of light that is entering the eye how much light has to enter inside the eye depending on the situation whether we are present in a dark room or a lighted room it controls and regulates the amount of light that has to enter our eyes a very important part is eye lens it is composed of a fibrous jelly like material and this eye lens it provides focused real and inverted image of the object on the retina mark this point this is very very important eye lens provides real and inverted image of the object where the image is formed and this image is formed on retina these points are very very important it provides a focused real and inverted image where the image is formed images formed on the retina now coming to the nature of the eye lens eye lens is a convex lens convex lens converges the light and here eye lens converges the right light at the retina very very important it is convex lens we get real and inverted image and the image is formed on retina what is retina retina is a delicate membrane that is having a lot of light sensitive cells retina has light sensitive cells it is where the image of the object is formed in our eyes the next point is far point important to note it is maximum distance at which object can be seen clearly how far if the object is placed and you can see the object very clearly it is called as far point so for a normal adult eye if value of far point is infinity important you have to note what is far point and its value far point is the maximum distance at which object can be seen clearly and for an adult eye 
its value is infinity. So we can tell that far point of adult human eye is infinity. The exact opposite term is the near point or least distant of distinct vision. Far point is also known as the maximum distance of distinct vision. Near point is also noted as least distance of distinct vision. Means the minimum distance at which we can see the object very clearly without straining our eyes. Without giving pain to our eyes, at what closest distance we can see the object, it is called as the near point. And the value of near point for a normal adult eye is 25 centimeter. This value is also important. So, well, you can make a note that the range of human vision is 25 centimeter to infinity. Range of human vision is 25 centimeter to infinity, where this 25 centimeter is the near point of human eye, and infinity is the far point or the maximum distance at which we can see the object very clear. So, very, very important range of human vision is 25 centimeter to infinity. The next term is accommodation. Accommodation is the ability of eye lens to adjust its focal length. Ability of eye lens to adjust its focal length, we call it as accommodation. How this focal length can be changed? What helps eye, to, eye lens to change its focal length is ciliary muscle. Important, the role of ciliary muscles is to adjust the focal length of human eye. So now let us understand this mechanism that how the ciliary muscles help in adjusting the focal length of human eye. We have two different cases. First case, when we see a distant object. First case is with respect to a distant object. When our eye tries to focus on the distant object, means the object that is present at far distance, ciliary muscles will be relaxed. And when these ciliary muscles are relaxed, eye lens will flatten and it becomes thin. When the lens is very thin, its focal length will be more. As a result, focal length of the eye lens will increase. Second case is when we see nearby objects. When we observe nearby objects, our ciliary muscles will contract. As a result, the eye lens will become more rounded. In case of the distance object, if the lens is becoming flattened and thin like this, in case of the nearby objects, because of the contraction of the ciliary muscles, eye lens will become more round in shape. Okay, It attains round shape. In this case, the focal length of the eye lens will be decreased. So, you can mark these points. When the focal length is increased by the ciliary muscles, it is when we see the distant object. And when we observe a nearby object, focal length will be decreased by the ciliary muscles. It is because the eye lens will become thicker because of the contraction of the ciliary muscles. Mark these points. This is important. So, the power of accommodation is nothing but it is the ability of eye lens to adjust its focal length according to the distance of the object. And it is ciliary muscles that helps in changing the focal length of the eye lens. Next, we need to discuss about the defect of visions. And the first defect is myopia or nearsightedness. Here, you should be having a clear idea of the range of human vision. It is from 25 centimeter to infinity. A person who is suffering from myopia 
he can see the nearby objects clearly he can see nearby objects clearly but cannot see the distant objects clearly the name of the defect of vision is uh, it is ulta it is reversed near sightedness means he can see the objects present nearby he cannot see the distant objects clearly it is because his far point of vision is less than infinity now for a normal adult human eye the image of the object will be formed exactly on the retina but for a myopic person image is formed in front of the retina you can see this second picture the four point is o dash but for a myopic person the far point of his eye is considered at point o now it is on this point here the image has to be formed for a normal eye but for a myopic person image is formed in the front of retina at this point here so here the image is formed so he cannot see the distant object very clearly because it is forming in front of the retina now what causes this myopia is the excessive curvature of eye lens and elongation of eyeball what we can do to correct this yes we can use a concave lens of appropriate power when we use a concave lens what does it do it diverges the ray of light and these ray of light fall on to the eye lens which is a convex lens which converges the light on retina exactly image will be formed on retina so here you should understand that a myopic person can see the nearby objects clearly but cannot see the distant object clearly it is because his far point far point is less than that of the infinity and image will be formed in the front of the retina causes for myopia is the excessive curvature of the eye lens and it is also due to the elongation of eyeball what we can do for correcting this defect of vision is by using a concave lens of appropriate power the second defect of vision that we need to discuss is hypermetropia also known as far sightedness from the name itself we can make out far sightedness means affected person can see far objects clearly but cannot see the nearby objects clearly it is because the near point of the eye moves away it means that near point of the eye will be more than that of the 25 cm so that the person cannot see the object which is present near to him here in this case image is formed behind the retina for a normal adult human eye you know the image is formed on the retina in case of hypermetropic eye the image is formed behind the retina now this can be corrected by using convex lens of suitable power why this hypermetropia is caused it is because focal length of the eye lens becomes too long or eyeball becomes too small so you should note what is far sightedness why it is causing where the image is formed and how it can be corrected the next defect of vision is presbyopia which is also known as old age hypermetropia so you know hypermetropia is that a person cannot see the nearby object clearly now here this defect of vision is occurring in old age person due to aging this defect of vision occurs he cannot see nearby object clearly due to the loss of power of accommodation of eye accommodation power of eye is lost means the ciliary muscles cannot adjust the focal length of eye lens as a result at old age old age person cannot see the nearby objects clearly the near point of the old person having presbyopia it gradually recedes and becomes much more than 25 cm away so the near point will be more than that of 25 cm in old age people as a result they cannot see the nearby object now coming to the causes it is because of the gradual weakening of ciliary muscles and diminishing the flexibility of eye lens what we can do to correct this is we should 
use both concave and convex lens of suitable power. By using both concave and convex lens of suitable power, we can correct presbyopia or old age hypermetropia. Sometimes a person may suffer from both myopia as well as hypermetropia. That is nearsightedness as well as farsightedness where that person cannot see the nearby object very clearly as well as the far objects very clearly. Such people require bifocal lens for their correction. So when both myopia and hypermetropia exist in the same person, they should be using bifocal lens for correcting their defect of vision. Cataract is another defect of vision that is found in people at their old age. It is partial or complete loss of vision because the eye lens is becoming milky or cloudy. When the eye lens becomes milky or cloudy due to aging, the old age people can lose their partial vision or complete vision and this is called as cataract. This defect of vision can be treated by surgery and that surgery is named as cataract surgery. We human beings have and many other animals have eyes in the front of the face. What are the advantages of this? It gives a wider field of view and it enhances the ability to detect the faint objects. Means very minute object can be detected by our eyes. Also it provides a three dimensional view. In some other animals like rabbit you can see that their eyes are present on the either sides. So it gives them a 360 field of view where it helps them to escape from their predators. Those animals which hunt on the animals like rabbit, it's because of their eyes which have 360 degree view. They can identify their predators which are coming in any direction and they can save their life from their predators. I'll be stopping this video here. Remaining key points from this chapter will be discussed in the upcoming part of the video. I hope you will find this video helpful. Like the video and share this video among your friends who are preparing for these examinations. Thank you for watching. Stay connected. Keep learning. Take care. Bye-bye.